Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearl of Wisdom. I'm doing a little Pearl of dance there for you. Yes, I am, because uh, I got some great news. Tomorrow at 7.30 Eastern, I'm going to be rocking the Toronto-Montreal game with Off the Wall Hockey. Go check him out, Off the Wall Hockey. He does the play-by-play. I do the analysis, and uh, which is kind of tough because we're a little bit delayed, whatever, but we have fun. There's much frolic. It's great. We, I'd love to see you there. So go get yourself over to Off the Wall Hockey. You can check it out. There's, it's, it's, a lot, it's really a lot of fun. We comment in the comments. There's a comment section on the side there. Talking about comment section, don't be afraid to tell me about your picks or what you think or if I suck or whatever. <laughs> okay. And subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. The Perlocopters are out there like crazy right now. Bringing out people their uh, pearls of wisdom necklaces, their 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 ring o perlo and the pearls bracelets to all the subscribers and thank you for subscribing. It is it really helps the channel and it makes me feel good on my insides, you know, down there in the inside part where it feels good. Yeah, makes me feel good there. Okay, um, we talked about letters yesterday. We talked about that. Okay, we're going to get right to it today then. I got some picks for the land here. Uh, as far This is what we're going to be doing. We're going to go, we're going to look at our picks from yesterday. And we are going to um, then go into our picks for the five picks for the next day. Uh, this day really is was going not too bad, but the San Jose game that I'm watching right now, San, what happened to San Jose? <laughs> They're getting outworked all over the ice by the Ducks. Uh, I got to really rethink myself there. Should have thought that maybe that the Ducks now have young players playing for you know big NHL money, and San Jose might overlook them in this spot. And it looks like they did, but uh, okay, it's 3-1 in the second. So, first, I say I'm going to give you picks in the first five minutes. So, here we go. Oilers in reg over six versus the Ottawa Senators. Here's a surprise one. Montreal ML over six. I'm painfully taking Montreal here, not because I'm a Leafs fan, but because it's hard to go against the Leafs right now. But I'll, we'll talk about why I'm picking that after I give you these picks. Avalanche ML over five and a half uh, over Minnesota. Vegas ML over five and a half. And Arizona ML under five and a half. As you can tell by those picks, uh, this is... I I went over. I I looked. I brought out my my uh, protractors and compass and that that one that you go like this. Put your thing in and you go like that. And uh, I tried to figure out a way to take home teams here, but I couldn't. Uh, what's the odds of every road team winning? But we'll see. Maybe it changes tomorrow. That's the reason why we go over to the Patreon there that I have the Patreon of Frolic. It, you can get the uh, link there in the description. Head over there. I'll give you a free month. Check it out. Uh, and I'll reimburse you right away. So go check it out and uh, have fun. That way you also get weekend picks because it's getting spring and stuff. And I don't generally do weekend picks. You can get a little more insight on my picks because I do a show five days a week between 3 and 5 Eastern on this channel. Just between 3 and 5 Eastern if you're at work, or if, if you do that sort of thing, and uh, you just turn it on, put your headset on, do your little whatever you do for work. And uh, I'm out there and we do our picks and I tell you what my picks are, other people tell them what they picks are. And we have a competition going right now where people are getting points. And whoever wins the points, gets to dare me to do something next month every 
time I do my show or sometime during my show or whatever. So that's the kind of frolic we have there. Go check it out. Okay, we're going to go to our picks from today. One of the day games is going on right now. And I got to say, this one surprised me. I will say that my buddy Curtis, who I do picks with too, he sends me picks. He had Anaheim PL in this game, and I never had a chance to ask him what he was thinking. Why did he think this was going to be a PL here? But he's got it so far. Hardcore. Hardcore. Anyways, let's go to the picks for today. Games today. The one going on right now, we have oh, Sharks are on the power play right now. It would be really nice if you could pot one here, although we do have the under. The big play we have is the Sharks in regulation. So we need three goals. Not that they can't do it, but I'm telling you, they haven't looked like they can so far this game. They look like they overlooked Anaheim here. I don't know. Uh, had a little too much sun in San Jose or something, but uh, that is going to be a big loss. That'll be uh, three pearls on. Uh, actually, that could even be five if you want to go because it was a play of the week or play of the day. Uh, so that could be a big loss. Uh, that could really wreck the rest of these. Uh, we had, uh, no, the Ducks just scored again. So she's over for us for this one. Over. Sabres, uh, we had the Devils and the under on this game. So we didn't do well on this with this one either. Uh, small pearls that we didn't have much on it. Islanders, we had the Islanders. When I found out Banachek was in, I switched it to the over, though. So we ended up just breaking even on this game. This game, we made up some pearls, though. We had the Rangers for a unit, and we had the over for medium. So we made up about two and a half pearls on that one. Uh, then we lost them back on this one because we had the under, which was fine in the overtime. That was our big play, the under for the Flyers and Bruins. Uh, on a back-to-back, -back, usually games go under, but not this one. Uh, so we, we lost what we won here. So we're down about five pearls so far. Here we got it. the Hurricanes in regulation, but we also had the under for small pearls. So we gained about one and a half. Uh, got crushed with the Lightning and Blue Jackets. Uh, cannot believe the Lightning dropped that. I'm fading the Lightning. Vasilevsky and Corpusalo in that for the Blue Jackets, who have been playing poopy all year. Lightning just lost to Detroit 4-1. What's going on in Lightning land there? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, we had the under for large pearls here, and we had the Red Wings for small. So we come back a little bit on there. And we had the Blackhawks for large pearls. And we had the under for small. So we're about, well, we're, we're down about a unit and a half on this. Uh, the good thing was, first of all, yesterday, we went three for three on ball, which gave us another two and a half units. Today, we went three, uh, three for four on ball. So overall for the day, we. Uh, and I don't think we had, oh yeah, we had tennis. Tennis, I went three for four. So we're up a little bit for all of my picks. But I'm usually up during hockey and we didn't hit her this time. That's all right. We'll give her another go tomorrow. Uh, these are, this is a really tough card we're going into tomorrow. Um, again, because the road teams seem to be the way to go on these. And uh, it's difficult to uh, take. All the road teams, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go look at it anyways, and uh, we'll see. I'm probably gonna keep my my betting down a little bit on these games. Edmonton, Ottawa. Um, now we haven't got goalie confirmation. It's gonna be a back to back. I wonder if they play Corpusalo here, or if they play Corpusalo tomorrow. I'm not sure. So as of right now, I mean, but either way, can you really not go 
against Edmonton in here in this spot. Um, they've had they they were already they already did the trip to and lost to Montreal. They need this game. They they really should be settled now from the trip from the west to east. Um, you shouldn't be overlooking Ottawa because they need every point that they can get right now. I got to go with Edmonton in regulation here. Um, I also, because it's either going to be Forsberg or the kid Gustafsson, Forsberg has played well, but um, I still got to lean the over here. It's, Edmonton's got so much firepower against those two. And, and, uh, Otto, Goose, and uh, oh, what's his name? Ottawa's got some injuries on defense is what I was going to say. But um, and I can't remember who the one person is now off the top of my head that is out. But it's a big defenseman, big solid defensive defenseman. Why am I not remembering that? That's bothering me now. Um, Ottawa, it's right there. Gubranson. Gubranson's out. Um, so yeah, I'm. I gotta go with Edmonton there. I don't even have a feeling like Ottawa is going to win that game. So, uh, Montreal versus Toronto. Here's the thing. Okay, I'm not putting a lot on this because it's Toronto. But they just had a really long Western road trip. They flew from Western Canada to Toronto two days ago and are now playing the Montreal Canadiens for what is really a huge game for Montreal especially. Price is going to be out for Montreal, so it will be um, Allen. But Allen has been really good this year. The problem is Campbell has won nine straight. He's playing phenomenal for Toronto. And he could just hold him in here and Toronto could just score enough. Very tough game to cap. I don't like the spread for Montreal. What are you going to get, 156? Maybe that's the play. Take Montreal. Plus one and a half. They they should keep this close. They should. So that's probably the play there. Honestly. Montreal plus one and a half. Colorado versus Minnesota. Uh, Colorado is flying. Um, I don't like the juice you're getting, but I can't not take them either. They're just flying too hard right now. Uh, beating everybody up. They slightly had a letdown against... St. Louis, when there was their first game back from a road trip, which I tell you is tough, but they still won the game. Now they fly out to Minnesota to play a tough Minnesota team, I might add. But I still got to take them on the road. Uh, I'll take a money line. I'm not going to take them in reg or anything. Uh, and then... These two teams can score so much. I'll probably go to over one eight over here. Uh, even though they got really good goaltending, I did that before. I said, "Oh, the goaltending will keep them in." It went over, so it's going to go over most of the time. Vegas versus St. Louis. St. Louis is dropping the ball daily here. I, I had, I thought it was a good spot for St. Louis last game, and uh, it certainly was not. They lost six to one. So now Bennington is going to be in net, but Flurry's going to be in net. I don't. I got to go Vegas. I don't like going the road team every game, but I got to go Vegas, especially for that juice. One seventy money line. Going Vegas, uh, and I'm going to go the over here too. With all these overs, you might want to look at the at the salami, grand salami. Uh, Arizona versus Los Angeles. I like to go Los Angeles here. They're so beat up on defense. I can't. I, I thought the last game with Peterson in. Peterson did let three goals on in, in in six shots. But Arizona outplayed them all over the ice last game too. Um, Arizona's got more to play for. Los Angeles is pretty much out of it. Arizona's in a playoff spot right now. They're trying to keep pace. Aiden Hill's playing well. I got to go Arizona. I'll probably go under five and a half. 
I may totals may be more my play than money lines on uh, than the than the sides here, simply because I just have a difficult time taking so many overs, but I have no choice. Okay, boys and girls. Well, I do, I do have a choice, but. It just seems like all the all the all the road teams are going to win. Tell me in the comment section what you think about that. Any of these home teams that you like, that uh, you can give me a reason, give me a, give me a, maybe help me out. I like listening to a whole bunch of other guys too. By the way, I was just talking to Best Bet Ed right now. Him and I message back and forth and talk about picks a little bit. Um, and uh, you know, you have the ice guys. Have you ever saw those? When, when you're doing my picks, I really recommend you go check out like guys like the Ice Guys, uh, Best Bet Ed, and a, a lot of the other cappers out there, and uh, work your leans on, on those things. Where I, I'm, Do I think I'm the best capper out there? No, I think we're all the best. All the guys that, there's a lot of best cappers. The ones that I really fall on are uh, myself, are the Ice Guys, and uh, best bet Ed. I really like the I really like their plays and Curtis Davis who helps me out a lot. Um, but yeah, so like Curtis Davis took Anaheim plus one and a half here. Didn't see this. I didn't see this coming, and I got to look as to why I didn't see it coming. Because we're learning every day, aren't we, boys and girls? Have a, that's our full forty-two percent. It seems that's all I got to give for you today. Hopefully I can see you tomorrow when we do a at uh, at uh, off the wall hockey's um, live for Toronto Montreal. I'll see if that pick is right. You can come join me and uh, watch. He is really good. He's a really good play by play guy. I watch the game and and turn the sound off and listen to him. He's really good. Highly recommend you check him out. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.